When I walk into the water, my whole body goes numb and I start to feel a total peace. I think that's the biggest thing it's taught me is that we're in this experience anyways, we might as well surrender to it. Painting has always been my mother tongue. It's like the language that I'm the most fluent in. Once I found that painting had some limitations, I was inspired to find other mediums so that I could amplify my voice in different ways. I have three bodies of work, vessels, figures, and landscapes. The landscapes just are what they are. They're emotive color field paintings based off of West Coast landscape. And the figurative work is all autobiographical. Cold plunging is really a practice for resiliency. And so it was the perfect practice to meet me two years ago when I went through some of the hardest years of my life. And it's a practice that's taught me that you can endure anything. My sobriety and my spiritual life go hand in hand. Getting to be in a spiritual experience and getting to be in a body and spiritually alive has been one of the most exciting things in my life and so obviously that's translated into my work. When I'm painting I feel like I'm in flow state. It's very connected for me. In my work I always hope that there's this kind of push and pull between the light and the dark. I like these kinds of tensions so that the piece isn't complete. It needs the viewer to kind of approach it with an open-mindedness and a curiosity. And I think that results in the best, more evolved, mature kind of work.